Everything we know about the nativity story has been pieced together through centuries of artists doing their best to show us what they think happened that night. And, and so many artists used wood for their mangers. And so when I started my research, I contacted an archeologist who sent me pictures of stone mangers they hid and uncovered from the first century. And he was like, Janity, the manger was not made out of wood. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> of course it was. Look at Rembrandt. Look at all these artists they told us. And he was like, no. Anything that they could have made out of limestone, it was their most plentiful resource. They made it out of limestone. And it totally just blew out of the water like any nativity painting I'd ever had in my head. And then he says, let's take this one step further. They didn't collect and store hay. That is also something that we've just contrived because it's something they practice somewhere else in the world. Um, grass grew year round. And so like the shepherds were in the fields tending the flocks. And so the mangers were used for water. And I thought about that and how beautiful this symbol was that Christ was, was placed on a stone from the very beginning, a stone that very much looks like an altar. And it was for water and Christ would be living water for all mankind. So we always think of the swathing bands like, oh, they were so poor and they just like got these random scraps of fabric to wrap their baby in. But that's actually not the case. So when a girl became betrothed, she would begin working on her swathing bands. And they were a really important part of their culture. Um, when she would embroider, she would do her best to make the embroidery match front to back as a symbol um, to her spouse that she was the same on the inside as she was on the outside. And then um, she would embroider symbols of her heritage of her family and her espoused family. And so the swaddling began, bands become like a symbol of these two families coming together as one. So when the, when the couple is actually married, their hands were wrapped in the swaddling bands and the phrase tie the knot comes from this ancient practice. Then when the baby's born, he's wrapped in these swaddling bands that are beautiful symbol of two families coming together, but also the marriage covenant that their parents made. And so Christ wasn't just wrapped in like, we found these scraps of cloth by the road on the way to Bethlehem, <laughs> but on something that was carefully prepared by his mom for him. And I love that symbol. And I think about, you know, as I worked on this painting, um, I thought about what a symbol they are also of his death because they were white linen. And then when he is buried, he's also wrapped in white linen. And Christ's birth is surrounded by symbols of his purpose and mortality, like he was born to die. I, as a parent, I just can't believe that God sent his son that way. Like what a beautiful gift he gave to us that Christmas night.